everyone how are you doing today i am constance and thank you sorry about that oh my goodness my ruler fell okay i am constance thank you for joining me in the next episode of our english class in this lesson we're going to be talking about business phrasal verb right business phrasal verb we have around seven different examples that we're going to be talking about today or using to bring home the understanding or the idea to you so especially for persons who have just started out their business or just started at a started with a new job all right so business phrasal verb to write up is our very first one to write up so to put right up in a sentence, we have after this conference, please write up the minutes and email it to the employee. So here's your boss is telling you to write up the minutes and mail it to the employees after the word conference. All right. So you might have a conference and they need to know what went on inside that conference all or conference room. So you have to write up the minutes and then email it to the employees to keep them abreast of what is going on in the company. Number two, to think something over, to reflect on something, right? Pass it through your mind repeatedly. We have various plans to think over. Hence, or therefore, hence and therefore is the same. Give us three days to make a decision. Give us three days to make a decision. So you need what extra time to make a decision so you can think something over. So we have various plans to think over. And give us three days to make a decision. Now let's look at number three. To shop around right to shop around sometimes you need to shop around because you have various prices right you want to buy supplies for your store for your shop for your office you need toilet papers you need papers you need staples right so some prices has it 200 some places has it 150 some places has it just a hundred dollars so you go shop around to get the least or the best price all right so here we have it in a sentence to get a better deal than we have now we need to shop around to get a better deal than we have now we need to shop around so you can even have a contract with someone to drop off something at your office whether it's water or cups or whatever but that person price seems to be higher than what you have heard or read about so you say you're going to what shop around shop around to get a better deal than we have now right so that's what you need to do number four to figure it out to figure it out to think it over to reflect <clears throat> I'll figure it out and report the outcome to you later I will figure it out and report the how it come to you later or later on all right so your boss your boss sorry your boss might ask you to <clears throat> to do a project or come up with a new idea or a new plan for something and you tell him or her you will figure it out and report the matter to them later to report the outcome or the result at a later date or at, or at a later time to run it by or pass him to run it by or pass him so you might get a project or you might be working on something but you come what you come into a bump right you come into a bump and someone say you have to what run it over run it by or pass him before you go any further with it you need someone help you need someone else's input so our sentence built for this phrasal verb 
please run it by the director first. And here is suggestion before going any further. Please run it by the director first. And here is suggestion before going any further. So someone is advising you to run it by the director first. Tell the director about it. Ask him some question before going any further with that project. Number six, to call back. That is very, very big, right? To call back. The nurse told the office rep, to call back patients in the morning. The, the, <clears throat> the nurse told the office rep, <clears throat> I'm a little hoarse, sorry, <laughs> to call back the patients in the morning. So when you're doing business, that is a big thing you have to do. Call back clients, right? Whether it's to inform them about some medication or a bill, all right, or sometimes it, the, the, the space in which to pay certain premiums, you have to call and remind them it's very long, so you what? You have to call and remind them to pay that, that bill, all right? So the nurse told the office rep, all right, you could take a blood test and you need the result. So the nurse told the office rep to call back the patients in the morning all right so let's see number seven to ask around to ask around sometimes in a working environment or community or atmosphere you have to ask around sometimes to get some information and one of this is which is very popular very common i'll ask around if anyone wants to work extra hours on New Year's Day. <laughs> and ask around if anyone wants to work extra hours on New Year's Day. So that is the day what? A lot of persons, New Year's Day, Christmas Day, and sometimes Valentine's Day. Mm -mm. People want to be at home or want to go out partying with their families and friends. Some of them even will even call out sick because they don't want to work. So you have you as the supervisor have, have to start asking around early if anybody wants to work on that special day, that big holiday. All right, so ask around is a very big statement or phrase or verb that you will use in the office or in your company. So the sentence we build for that, I'll ask around if anyone wants to work extra hours on New Year's Day. So I hope this phrasal verb to business, business phrasal verb is or will be beneficial to you, will bring some ideas to you, will help you how to ask or relate a sentence or place a sentence while you're at work, especially if you're a new employee, all right? So some of the sentences or phrasal verb that you might end up using or might end up hearing and need to have a better understanding of what is being said in the office or in your business environment. All right, my name is Constance, and I thank you very much for joining me in this class. Please check out my Patreon link and give your donation. I have story time videos on my Patreon account. Or at least check out my book, Orphans of a New Dawn. It is on Amazon, right? You can get it in Kindle and also paperback. Okay, also spread, check out my spread shop where I have lovely t-shirt inspirational t-shirt a word liver hopper i call them in a word to lift you up inspirational motivational word to lift you up which are printed on t-shirts selling so those are on spread shop and the link for my book spread shop patron is 
in my description box below so please check it out and give your support i would appreciate it and also leave a review for my book orphans of a new dawn orphans of a new dawn it's a very good read once again my name is constance and i thank you for joining me in this this episode please like subscribe and share and also hit the notification bell so whenever i post a video you will be the first to have it until my next class i hope you'll join me then until then bye bye